So when I hear something, my spirit wants me to get the information out right away. I prefer to show you what I'm doing. And the screen share app that I have is, it's, it's such a gang stalking type of a app that maybe if you get one, if anybody knows of a real good screen sharing app that ads don't pop in uh, when you first put it on, it doesn't go to a, oh, you just won three day free trial, press here. Because if you don't, you're, you can't go anywhere else other than pressing here. You can't X out, you can't go back, you can't go to the other screen, you have to push right here and then click off. Because, and then when I use it, there's no rhyme or reason as to why the recording fails. I tried it, I, I, I pushed the button and wait, waited for it to just go to record and then I navigated through, still didn't work. I pushed the button, navigated through before it starts recording and sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So what's the point? If you're gonna be talking into thin air and it doesn't work, Anyway, uh, so hopefully somebody knows of a, a good screen sharing app for your cell phone that you don't have those problems. Is there anybody out there that doesn't have those problems? I'd appreciate the help. Because <coughs> it would help me where there's times I only need a couple minutes to just to, to show something real quick. And, uh, but I need to be in front of the computer to show you what I'm talking about to make sense of it. In the meantime, you just have to use your imagination. The Simpsons. The Simpsons, when it shows you uh, Homer and Marge standing together and Homer is wearing the, the Asian hat to make him look like he's Asian. And considering the fact that the bottom coast of Florida, where Simpson's head is, and the, the hair strands going over his head, because that's when you turn the United States map upside down and use the Simpson, use the bottom Florida coast as Simpson's head. That's what that is. Uh, the alligator coming up from the water. Don't go chasing the alligator. Kim Jean says. So that alligator is also a. It's also an elephant trunk. So use your imagination on that. The the Sa South America. Because right now, as I would as I would talk about, it, if I had a screen share, I would just show you the picture and zoom in on the 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 woman and the and the man that I said before. Is that Kim Jean? Because it has an Asian look to him with the hair, and then this bird lady type, almost Marge Simpson head is sitting. Stand, you know, they're they're basically the parents are looking from South America at America, at the Florida coast, looking at Homer Simpson upside down, and and then in the in the Simpsons cartoon that Cleck is showing you just today, maybe even yesterday, where where Sophia's choice was when you you if you had I guess twins or two children or whatever representing each child. If you have twins, you need to pick one because one of them's going to the gas chamber. And that's like oh, in the in a cartoon it says Springfield General Hospital. It's also about the Pfizer Ephesus, the F is around Lakeland Regional Medical Center. 
and the I is on a helipad. Pfizer. And at my hospital where I was born, it was called General Hospital at the time. Now it's Regional Bartow Regional Medical Center. It was called General Hospital at the time. Springfield General Hospital is where everybody's lined up for this this uh, choice where basically the, what I'm getting out of it is when Adam was born with his twin, the mother had to pick which one she was keeping and the other one goes to the gas chamber. So Eve was taken from Adam's side and sent to the gas chamber, went to heaven. So Eve would be someone from heaven right now showing you what actually happened to her in the beginning because when you go to the gas chamber it's like mom why didn't you just pick me to go to the gas chamber I would have been in heaven from the beginning of time I know it seems terrible that you have to make a choice which it is it's just sickening that that's the way things have been. But, you know, Satan has to have his way until he can't have his way anymore. Until he comes across the wrong person trying to subliminally get his messages out to his minions and someone interferes the interception. Someone intercepts the ball and then runs it back for the touchdown to win Super Bowl 57 when it's 12-12, because the two, Tham Yule, the two twins, when you have the Statue of Liberty standing on an 11-pointed hindectogram, that means the Statue of Liberty is number 12. When you have two 12s, when you have two rulers that stand and they start at the top, 12 12 and then when they come all the way down to the bottom and they meet at the 6 then it looks like technically 6 is the number of a touchdown and then the extra point you still have to kick it it's not automatic however when it's 12 12 you know time's up right not just 12 o'clock when it's noon or 12 in it at night, midnight. But when the little hand is at 12 and the big hand is at 12, it's 12 o'clock, but it's also 12, 12. Time's up. Tie game. Obviously, you know what's going to happen then. Because so far, I'm, st I'm sticking with the 19 to 12 victory of the Eagles over over the over the uh, the Chiefs because it just makes more sense that way that you're gonna have a <clears throat> don't worry nobody's gonna let you go just me Twelve, twelve. Time's up. Both twins on the Jonathan Clegg channel have become one. It took some time. It took some years. It took at least three and a half of them to, to really get to working on the other twin that uh, wanted to, that hates my guts. Wants, to, wants me dead. Wants, doesn't The bombings that we printed and we planned out in Philadelphia, and you figured it out, Robin. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not too happy. Although the other one was very happy. I'm still not sure which one though. Was it the Adam? So if Adam was born here on Earth, 
and he was one of the twins, but Eve was taken from his side, gas chambered, went to heaven. In the end, those two, one from heaven, one from down here, become one. Maybe they're not even in the same, I don't even think they're in the same box, the same what I'm thinking so far is that there's two there's two cliques there's an Adam and Eve and the Eve was separated at Adam from birth because of the you know the choice the choice you gotta make the, the woman the mother so I'm just wondering is that the same choice that mothers have to make when they're Polish because my mom's full Polak just like in the Simps just like in the Sophia movie or Sophia's choice she was a Polak and she had to pick which one of her kids goes to the gas chamber and in which one she keeps so if I had a twin and uh, and her name was Eve Eva or something like that or Pearl or whatever then that would mean my twin got gas chambered and went to heaven. And then 46 years later, here we are. Time to bust open Satan's uh, secret box that he's been passing around back and forth to his, peak, to his players. And then here in the end, I intercept it. I intercept the communication. Will Smith's badge number 4084, 4T8T4. The 44 that's at the helipad landing zone in uh, Springfield General Hospital where I was born at in Florida, where Homer Simpson's head is at the bottom, the alligator elephant trunk, and Marge and the, the Chinese guy at South America watching from a distance. Uh, Bartow, Florida. I have a burnt barcode on my toe from birth that I can remember since I remember being able to see and look and hear and remember I always had that burnt toe as a barcode as I was born in bar toe a barcode on my toe how unusual is that Do we all, is it, is it just, it's the twin system altogether, right? How could the whole world be in on it? How can everybody have a twin and not know about it? Well, maybe, maybe I was the only one that didn't know about it. I could possibly be in this world alone and everybody knows, but you're all going to lie about it anyway. No matter what I say, that's the truth. <clears throat> I've learned that the other the other side, Satan's minions, they will lie until their death. And that's what's going to happen. Unless they're given permission to speak the truth by Satan. Because to me, Satan is whoever is in charge. You know, Satan is the spirit that works through children of disobedience. And Lucifer would be the one who represents that, the one in charge. But he also is the one that's set in place to to set up the music for God. Because at a certain point, it's music to God's ears with what Lucifer's doing. Now, when that person is in charge of the planet and how everything's ran, even if it's separate, even if there's two of them or even three unclean frogs known as Satan, 
as soon as the two become one, even if there's a third, you're outvoted now. You're, it's two to three. Or it's two, the ratio is two to one, the majority rules, and then whatever spirit is running the two is gonna, is gonna rule the world, so. But if there's not three and there's only two, and the two of them become one, as Satan who rules the whole show, when they become one and the Christ spirit is injected into them like a uh, vaccine, because that's really what it is. The, really what I'm doing is I've created a vaccine that you don't even have to stick in your arm. It just has to stick in your heart. And it doesn't even it doesn't even physically hurt either. It may hurt spiritually for some time as you uh, wrestle and struggle with it. But once you finally just let go and stop wrestling with God and let it go, then you'll come to find out that it's a it's a uh, cure. It's actually a vaccine. You you just have to give up. Once you finally give up and you just let the Christ spirit take over because that's the most natural thing to do. Satan is forceful. Satan, the god of forces, will force you to believe something, force you to do something. And the spirit of the vaccine that goes, that you get stabbed in your heart with, there's no force there. It's just a choice. You start you start thinking and choosing more of that of that way because you're not forced. That's why that's how people change. When you're not forced to do something, and yes, it is a it is a uh, it's a better way. It's just a better way. Once you finally accept it, <clears throat> it's like getting a vaccine, and you become cured. Which means Satan is now Jesus. Does it seem like it? Well, no, of course not. The world is the way it is, and it doesn't ever seem like it's just getting worse. But that's scripture. That's the fulfillment of it. It's supposed to look like this. There's supposed to be a time period in between that I have to work on Satan and convince <coughs> the majority <coughs> to rule. So that's where we're at, but the timing isn't done yet. I'm just early in my assessment and my uh, the vaccine that I created, it, it came out earlier than expected and a lot of people took it already. But we're not at the end, so it's not over. More people have to get this vaccine so what do you think, how do you think the vaccine is created? I didn't create it myself. I have, I have help from my friends creating it through a, through a way of a, a spiritual communication. That's what the vaccine is made of. That's the ingredients. It's a spiritual communication, but not only a communication, it's a revealing of hidden things that are being shown to me that once I receive it from who I'm receiving it from mainly the Jonathan Cleck channel really and then others have pitched in tremendously <coughs> and even if they tried with evil intent you see the vaccine that I've created uh with the help of friends is it's a combination of things good and evil I've used evil people to create this vaccine as well I've used people with evil intent against me to create the vaccine because 
once you create once you try something on me and it fails and then you lose once I know you lost I'm gonna make sure I keep using that ingredient and I'm gonna use it over and over and over again repetitively intensely that way I can reverse the damage done and let that clock go backwards so as soon as time's up as soon as the Eagles win the Super Bowl 19 to 12 so far is where I'm coming from I can't imagine the feeling I'd have because no score ever that I can ever I don't even know if there's ever been a 12-12 tie I'll have to google that one <clears throat> but especially in a Super Bowl and how do you you can't pick you know the normal picks that people it's like so what do you think the score is going to be oh 34 to 10 uh, the 393 yards passing and three to five touchdowns nobody's going to say oh I think it's going to be uh, somewhere around 12-12 uh, eight field goals and then a uh, one touchdown in the last minute the last minute drive by the Eagles to go and score a touchdown could it be 15 to 12? Uh, well, it could be, but I don't think the Eagles are going to want to just kick a field goal and still have time remaining on the clock. I think they might they might just run it down and then they'll have enough time for two plays. One play to the end zone, and if they miss it, then they kick a field goal to win it, which would be two. The old, the old zigzagger there. Zigzagging, impatient, can't wait to get to the next zigzagging. He's going to blow the red light and zigzag. <laughs> ah, man, people just need to be slapped sometimes. That's what this society does. You're late. You're late. I'm late. I gotta hurry up. Get to work. I, I gotta get. I gotta get there. If I was the child picked, and I had to go to the gas chamber, and I went to heaven, and then, uh, you know, I I have a YouTube channel and. I'm not really on planet Earth, but my my twin is, and we have the same studio. One, I'm from above, the other one's from below, and you know, you didn't even know that there was twins on that channel until now. I would actually feel sorry for the twin that's still alive. I would feel sorry for the the twin that was that was. Uh, that was kept alive because I just easily went to heaven through a gas chamber. I don't know how torturous that is, but not that it should happen, period, but because that was the choice that you had to put a parent through, especially if it's a Polak, Polish mother giving birth to a child and Springfield General Hospital Bartow Regional Medical Center in Florida and you had to make that decision I would actually feel empathy for the person that's still alive because I'm already done I already died I'm in heaven I, I don't die again I I would I would get to crack the case I mean how cool how cool is that storyline though even if it wasn't true but it is that the story of Adam and Eve where Eve was actually taken from Adam's side for real like taken taken away and murdered and then what Eve does is from heaven she's able to deliver that information to her brother Adam and then between the two of them they become one it's like if they both stand on top of that 11-pointed hindectogram, 
as the 12th. Well, there's two of them, and that makes it 12-12. I would definitely write that script. 12-12, tie game, fourth quarter, one minute left in the fourth quarter. So there's your one to the 13. And then, <clears throat> because the eagle has landed, the eagle has landed at the same hospital that the eagle was taken from at the General Bartow Regional Medical Center, Eagle Drive, and Osprey uh, Lane or something, the two birds. So it's time for the eagle to get victory, complete victory. And then Christ comes as a thief in the night. And then from that point on, after the Eagles' victory, and they win the Super Bowl because of the... Because how it fulfills Scripture, and there's no more need for destruction. Although, <clears throat> there, there just still may be. Philly still may be destroyed afterwards the next day. I mean, I sure would be nervous if I didn't know the script. As the Eagles are, if this, if the way the the game goes, the the Super Bowl, if you if you see it like this, the beginning of the game is a, the whole game is a defensive, just a a, a great defensive game, which kind of is boring, but because they hold people to field goals and they're they're battling it back and forth. If the score is six to nine at halftime, I would definitely be nervous if I was the other side. Because who really knows what the score? I don't think everybody is in on it. I don't think everybody that's in on it, like all you secret agents, bird watchers, and everything, I don't think you actually know what the score of the football game is going to be. I think that's something you have to figure out the same way that I have to figure it out. Just because you have inside knowledge and advantage, because you're part of the elite's family, you know, self-made, uh, like Aaron said on Paul uh, LeBout Tillier's channel yesterday, self-made, although, even though you say you're self-made, but yet your parents uh, have had millions of dollars, but you're self-made. Right, right, right. So, when I become self-made, it truly is self-made self-existing, self-creating, self-head-stomping in the spiritual realm because the heads get stomped. A Lamborghini in Kensington just doesn't look right. <clears throat> that that would look more right in my garage, in my house, that was built because I've created it just by speaking words and, uh, you know, influencing Satan who runs the planet to, to turn into Christ. So the two become one. So when I become self-made, it'll, it'll really truly be a self-made created story that is a true one. A true, true story, not a fake true story because all these true stories yeah that's true but it was set up like that like the scripted world so if it's six to nine at halftime I'd be nervous if I were you but I'm not you so I'm not going to be nervous and then it starts, and then it's tied up at 9 to 9, and then it's 12 to 9, and then it's 12 to 12. It's intense because really all that one team has to do is just score a damn touchdown and they'll, they'll be ahead. Door dasher. So because he door dashed me, here's what I'm going to do. Go ahead, go, go. Ahead. You're good. No, no, you go. Yeah, you guys. I'm in no hurry. I... Now, is that spiteful? Because someone dashed at my door. 
and then I make them wait. Call it what you want. It's how I am. I will always be sickened by evil. I'll never accept it. I'll never let it. I'll never let it get a, get its victory over me. And for those that, and for the uh, Statue of Liberty, you know it's true. So you know that from the years of watching me, especially knowing that I know now, especially knowing that I'm, just the fact that I know that I'm surveilled 24-7, and you also have these bird watchers, that that's actually their job, and I... You know, I learn as I go. Once I start learning things, oh, that's what you're waiting for. Oh, okay, well, I'm going to not give it to you. Well, well, no, Rob, tip, you can't do that. We're, we're professional bird watchers. Watch this. Watch that bird. Because that's the only bird you're going to see. Things along that nature where it doesn't matter who's who doesn't even believe it or who's you know, rolling your eyes uh, as angels because you devils rolled the dice on me. How you making out now, devils? I'm speaking to the devil, not even the devil that used to be in uh, Jonathan Cleck. Not even the devil that's in Satan because Satan is a spirit that it leaves. It'll leave a vessel. And it'll keep working and going to the next. So when, when the top people that are the most important ones that are the shot callers, once I cast Satan out of them, and that that spirit goes into the swine, and it's looking for other people to go through. It's going to find minions at the lower tier level. They're going to be duped into, you know, believing whatever. See, look, here's the... The one road is jammed. The one road was just blocked off because that's where I got to go. And then, so when you make a left, I still got to go straight, but the next road's blocked off and there's only left hand turns so what it does is it just puts you in going in circles I'm just going to keep going in circles <clears throat> and then it'll make me late for work and then my boss is going to yell at me and I'm going to be I might get fired Because at some point, this would be something. I can see my brother Billy doing this right now, cursing and yelling and just, I mean, it ruins, it'll ruin his day. Let's see if it's still... Yeah, look. Tell me this ain't a straight gang stalking move. He's not even doing anything besides just stalling. But that's just a random act, right? It's just random people. Even if it is just random, poor guy got to get to work too. He's driving down these little streets. Or like Andrea, who knows? She's a, uh, aren't you a, truck dispatcher don't you dispatch big vehicles to I remember one time I got gang stalked after you were talking about being a truck dispatcher with these trucks they they, they got my way like <laughs> so here's the detour I'm taking it's actually about it seems like it's a good mile a good mile out of the way. <laughs> I 
So then I say, well, who's responsible for this gang stalking on me? And why is it still allowed? If you changed people's hearts and minds, Robin, why are they still gang stalking you? Well, because my book, my movie, my book, it's not over yet. It hasn't been fully finished. We're towards the end of the book, but it ain't over yet. It's all about the timing of it. There's a time, a timing for everything, the Bible says. There's a time for gang stalking. There's a time for gang stomping the stalking corporation and putting an end to it. There's a time for to be slaves. There's a time to be free. We're all still slaves. There's a time to drive till you get to work and then there's a time to get to work. There's a time to get working and then there's a time to drive home. There's a time to drive home and then there's a time that you're actually home. The time that you're actually home is the time I get to sit in front of the computer and show you what I'm talking about. And it doesn't, and I don't have many, many hours in a day to do that. So how much longer does it have to take where everything is revealed and finished and then it's it's easy coasting it's easy it's like going downhill not that you're going downhill because you already climbed the mountain but once you start going downhill You see what I'm talking about? It's about just to stall, even if it's for three seconds. If you're in the middle of the street and you're making a turn, well, make the turn. But if you're stalling there to make the turn, then you must have been communicated to stall right there before you make the turn. These poor people, their lives are just being wasted away. I wish I was the one that was gas chambered at birth. But I'm not. It's the way it was supposed to be. I stay alive and I stomp Satan's kingdom to its to its core. Even though Satan's already working on the lowest of the lowest people of the totem pole trying to get them convinced to start it all over again. So he's going to work from the bottom and it's going to take him another thousand years to get back up to the top again. Because it's all about free will. Everything I do is by choice. I don't have to make one video. I don't have to push record and say anything. I choose to do it. Just like Neo. Neo chooses to continually fight all the Agent Smiths, all the YouTube highly trained reviewers and CIA, FBI, NSA members. I choose to fight all of you because you're keeping secrets and you're lying about stuff. All I'm trying to do is set you free. I know it doesn't, I know you don't like it. You don't actually like it. This was also one of the scores that I had, 16 to 15. Because it would be, it would be 15 to nine at halftime or whatever. Oh, score changed. It would be 15 to nine. And then it's the final touchdown that wins the game, 16 to 15, and it's still 31 points. That's one of the scripts that I, I think that was uh, that was that was actually A B C D. That was D four. I said that before. It was D four. My pick, which was uh, 19 to 12, but I meant I meant it was E five. 
And then if it's none of them, then it would be F because I got an F on my test. I picked the five scores of the Super Bowl. And if it's none of them, then it would be an F. So. But I'm here to try to set you free from, you don't have to lie anymore. You know why? Because the two twins became one. Thamuel, both of them. On that Jonathan Kleck channel, there's no question that there's two different types of people there. Maybe even a third one. But uh, <clears throat> Lazarus was risen. He's been risen from his grave. It took four years. And uh, so we'll start going from there.